All right, welcome back. I am so excited to be here again with Ted Thomas, the king of tax lien certificates and deeds. This is so exciting. All right, Ted, can you review for my students what a tax lien certificate is? Okay, now I'll be a little brief on this one because you probably already heard it a couple of times. But folks, a tax lien certificate means that half of the states sell these certificates and the reason they sell them is someone didn't pay their tax. So you can go pay someone else's tax. Now, if you do that, you get a big reward. The reward could be 18% or in Arizona, it's 16%. In Iowa, it's 24%. So you can make a big reward on this certificate. 97% of the people will come in and pay it. So it's the safest, the most lucrative investment in America. Why? Because you invest with the government, you're going to get a check back from the government. Now, 97% of the people are going to pay the tax. And you're saying to yourself, Ted, when I buy something, they won't pay me. If they don't pay me, they don't pay you, I'm going to tell you, you're going to love Ted Thomas and you're going to love Noel. Why? Because you're going to get the property without a mortgage. So here's right. the deal in tax certificates. You either get paid or you get the property. And if you get the property, there's no mortgage. So that's a tax lien certificate. Now, most of you are probably entrepreneurs. And you want to be in business for yourself. All of the states sell tax defaulted property. Those properties are confiscated. The government doesn't want them. They want them back on the tax roll. So the legislature has told the local government, that's your county, look, levy taxes, collect taxes. If they don't pay, confiscate the property. And when they confiscate it, they sell those properties for 10 to 20 cents on the dollar. So what I'm telling you about tax defaulted property, you get a 60, 70, 80% discount when you wow. buy, it's up to you. All you have to do is learn how to do it. Can I teach you everything I know in a couple of videos? No, but we're gonna show you how to do a lot better than we've talked about. Oh yeah, this is amazing. Okay, so let's kind of, cause I, I have more questions. I'm sorry, just as, sure, as sure. you talk through these, I'm like, okay, I have these questions. So do the counties automatically send the taxes paid plus interest at the end of the redemption period? Or do we have to inquire or redeem the tax lien certificate? Okay. Um, Actually, when you buy a tax certificate, all you, do, all you do is you get this piece of paper, you get the piece of paper, you put it on your desk, and then you sit on your rusty dusty. You don't <laughs> do another thing. Sit on your rusty dusty. No work okay. to do. All right. Okay. Now, the property owner it now has a responsibility. They let them stay in the house. They're very benevolent. They let them stay there. All right. Now, the, the property owner has to redeem it. In other words, they've got to come in and buy the certificate back because your certificate is the tax lien. The taxes are the first priority lien. They're ahead of a mortgage. So you then can foreclose if they don't pay. So rather wow. than foreclose, you have an attorney do that. But the point is, they have to redeem the certificate from you. In other words, they have to pay you every dime you invested plus yeah. the interest. And if they don't okay. pay you, this turns into a deed to the property. Okay. Yes. I love this. I love this because that's my mind is opening my students. I know these are questions they have. So like I've said before, I started in real estate from the very bottom. In 2009, I had bankruptcies. I had multiple foreclosures. I had bad credit. I had no money. I was just a disaster. And so I wanted properties because, you know, they were, everyone was saying like real estate is the number one way to wealth. So I'm hearing, and I was always interested in getting properties, acquiring properties. So could, could you give us a review on the tax defaulted properties? Sure, sure. Now, in, have, in all of the states, they'll sell tax defaulted properties. So here's what happens. People own a property, and let's say it's a $200,000 house. If they okay. don't pay the taxes, the local county is going to send them a note and say, look, you've got to pay this tax. All right. So let's say it's in New York and it's in uh, Dutchess County or someplace outside of New York City. All right. So mm -hmm. you, the, people didn't pay the tax. And they didn't pay it and they didn't pay it. And they get multiple notices. Sometimes the sheriff will show up and give them a notice, but they didn't pay. So the legislature makes the law of the state. So the legislature will tell the county, all right, look, levy the tax, collect the tax. If you can't, can't collect the tax, then confiscate the property. Now, once it's confiscated, the local government doesn't want it. The government wants that property on the tax roll so they can get taxes every year. So what they do is they put it back on the market. They have an auction. Now I'm going to go back to my camera number two, and I'm going to show you exactly what the county's going to do. So this is Franklin County. They had 86 wow. counties. Franklin County, by the way, is over there by uh, Syracuse. All right. Yeah. So they had 86 properties that they, they wanted to sell. And here's a, whole, here's a whole list of them. You can see the pictures. It's amazing. You can see the pictures. 
So then they send a brochure. They're going to sell every one of those properties for 10 cents on the dollar. Anybody can buy them. Anybody can show yeah. up. They even give you the rules. And I have every single county in the United States, how many counties you want to check on? They, they, they don't want the property. They want those people paying taxes. So that's right. a business that's been available for 200 years. And I'm sorry your broker or your attorney didn't tell you about it or your financial planner. And they are not bad people. Those are good people. The reason they don't tell you is they can't make a commission. If they can't yeah. get paid, they can't get paid by this county. They can't, they're not, it's not going to happen. That's why you don't know about it. Yet every single property in the, every county in the United States will have tax defaulted property. That's the Los That's Angeles right. list. It, yeah. I can show you county after county after county, and they're all available. And you guys can buy for 10, 20 cents on the dollar is the starting bids. Mm. Okay, so so what's Ted? What is the fastest state to get access to the property? Oh, uh, okay. The you know fastest, me. I'm always thinking like, how do I get okay, all Okay, that's properties? good. That's good. Actually, actually, uh, Texas is the old school United States. Let me tell you. So here's how things work in Texas. If you don't pay your taxes every month on the second Tuesday of the month, every mm -hmm. month in Houston they will have 200 properties for sale. 200. Wow. They sell you a redeemable deed to the property. So a deed is like a piece of paper. A deed is mm -hmm. how you transfer property from one person to the other. So mm -hmm. they will sell you a redeemable deed. The person that buys that redeemable deed, that's us, us investors, we raise mm -hmm. our hand and we buy it. If yeah. we buy that redeemable deed, the property owner has 180 days to pay us. If they yeah. don't pay us, we get the property in 180 days. Now, I didn't make the rules, but that's right. the way it works in Texas. Texas. Yeah. And guess what? There's 254 counties in Texas. That means there's 254 auctions every month, and you guys didn't even know about it. Wow. Okay. Okay. So, so, so what are the best states to buy tax deeds? Okay. I think the best state is the one that you find. For example, I decided I wanted to buy using a credit card. So yeah. I said, which one sell with credit card? I'll tell you two right away, Michigan and, and New York. So okay. in my, from my office, I bought nine properties in upstate New York, in places like Orange County and Dutchess County and counties like that. I bought using a credit card, doing it online, I bought those properties. Now I paid for a colonial house. Anybody that knows what a colonial will really appreciate that. Colonial is a big house, four acres, 80 year old oak tree surrounding it, beautiful setting. Yeah. And I paid, I thought it was it worth 400. Fun. I paid 40 cents on the dollar. No, I paid, I paid 30 cents on the dollar. I paid 120,000 for it. And I sold it for 380. Wow. I sold it for 380. Yeah, wow. now, I did a little fix up and stuff like that, but yeah, the point, yeah, I yeah. buy it online. That's real estate. I'm not yeah. here to brag about me. I'm just telling mm -hmm. you, you can do it online. So you have, if, if you have access, uh, let me see if I can show you again. If you had this little thumb drive, if you had that thumb drive, I can give you access to a hundred million properties in the United States, a hundred million sitting exactly. where Noel's sitting right now. And if you have a computer access, I access, my databases access every county in the United States, and I can teach you to do the same thing. Is that amazing? Wow, it is amazing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. sorry, more yeah. questions. So is an attorney or broker required to buy a tax defaulted property or tax lien? No, 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 this is, this is something, yeah, you don't need anybody to help you. You can do that. Once you learn how to do this, you want to do it yourself. Uh, I'm not negative on brokers. I'm not negative on attorneys. Right, right. Uh, the, po the point is you're going to need those people in your life sooner or later, especially when you want to sell. But my point is, you, you can do all of this yourself. You just need to learn to research. For example, if it's a $100,000 house, you want to have boots on the ground to make sure it really is 100000 because the county the county will tell you the, the assessed value, but you'd want to go and take a look. So if, if it hasn't been taken care of and it maybe is only worth 80000 well, you don't want to do a, a lot of high bids on that. But every county, every property you can look at. Now, you usually can't get inside, but every property you can look at so you can evaluate it. But I always say, don't buy anything unless you have boots on the ground and you'll, you'll see that. So you're getting the idea. Yeah. Okay, so hypothetical question, Ted. If you have $50,000 to invest, would you buy many small tax lien certificates or just a couple of big ones? If it were me and I'm teaching someone to do it, I'd say buy many tax certificates because if you buy one tax certificate, 
uh, you know, you, you, you're done, you're finished. Yeah. But what if they pay it off the next day? Yeah. Well, then you're not going to make very much money. So right. what you want to do is get numerous because I never know when people are going to pay their taxes. So uh, when we teach the class on it, we say buy a handful of those things and they'll, the, the money will come in at all different times. And then you can buy a handful it. more. And if you know how to do it online, you can go right back and buy. They usually have leftovers. You even have ones you can, that are left over you can buy. And we teach people how to do that too. Okay, I love it. All right. So, so what's the cheapest you've seen someone get a tax defaulted property for? Okay, well, um, everybody uh, wants to know that question. I mentioned earlier, <laughs> and I've never done it this, this good. I mentioned earlier, I had a preacher in Georgia that bought a property for $316. And mm -hmm. I don't know if you're ever going to do that. But I have a lot of people buy in this five to 10 uh, range. And so yeah, I have yeah, some yeah. clients that uh, live in Michigan and they started last, last Thanksgiving. So we're just coming up on Thanksgiving now. They started last year. They bought uh, a used and abused house. It was worth about 60,000. They bought it at the auction for $8,000. Now that's not a lot of money. They could have done it with a credit card, but they did it. They bought the property for $8,000. They tidied it up. They put some big signs that was for sale. Before Christmas, they had sold the property. They made twenty-four thousand on the property, and then they financed the deal. So they made another fifteen thousand. So round numbers between Thanksgiving and Christmas, where everybody will tell you you can't make money. They right. bought it low. They sold it, sold it low. They did it fast. They made themselves forty thousand dollars. My name is Robert Hagen, but everybody calls me Sonny, and this is my wife Marcia. In September of 2019, uh, we took the Ted Thomas classes. In November, we won the Fraser Street House. December, we accepted an offer already. January, we closed on it. It's it's amazing about the signs. You know, we we didn't even think anything about this sign stuff, and it was brought to our attention by uh, Ted that you know this is this is a surefire way to get people's attention. And he's absolutely right. The lawyer cost us $600 to do the closing and set up the land contract that we sold it on. So altogether, uh, $11,557, uh, almost $12,000. Uh, the purchase price turned out to be $35,000 oops, $35, with a profit of $23,443. Once we plugged all this in, it came up with that his payments would be $411. Total interest then, the interest made on all the money that was in here, just the interest, it amounts to $15,995.51. So that's just the interest, that's just profit. Basically, we hold the note on the on the property, we're the bank. It was $23,443 profit on the sale. And $15,995 profit on the note. So all of our investment, which of course we've already gotten back, and the profit on the property and the profit on the note. So the total for just the profit part, not our investment, but the total profit part is $39,438. And I think for that $12,000, that's a pretty good deal. But here's the beauty of what they did. Okay. They not only made that money for themselves, they have done it four times since, and it's only November all over again. Four wow. times. Wow. Wow. Now that's good money. If you can make 40 grand on a deal. Now these are working people. Well, yeah. she was a nurse practitioner and he was a guy that fixes cars. So yeah. anybody can do this business. You just have to learn how. Yeah, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Okay. So more questions that I think my audience would have. Um, so as we're kind of doing some, so, so I'm going to do this. Am I responsible for paying the utilities, like the water, the electricity, the heating on, on a tax deed home? Am I responsible for that stuff? Okay, now on a tax deed home, when you raise your hand at the auction and the uh -huh. gavel comes down, if you're the high yeah. bidder, they're going to give you a deed to that property. So that means you own it. Now, if you don't okay. pay the electrical, they're going to come and shut it off. If you don't pay the water, they're going to come and shut it off. So you own the home. So you now have to take care of it. So that means you'd have to cut the lawn. That means you'd have to My spruce house. it up if you're going to sell it. So you actually own the property. There's, now with tax lien certificates, you don't have to worry about that because the people stay in the house. Remember, they're very benevolent with a tax certificate. They don't throw the people out. They leave them in the property. So they're okay. certainly going to want to pay their own utility or they won't have any utilities. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm putting through this because I'm, I'm doing, this is happening. This is amazing. Okay, now can this I buy is, This is the real auction? deal. <laughs> yeah. Can I buy at an auction with a credit card? 
Yes, you can buy with a credit card. Now, not every state's going to do that, but I know okay. two that I can tell you right now. If I find a third one, I'll tell you when I when. I, but I bought myself. Per, I bought nine properties with a credit card myself, just so I could demonstrate to my students. But my students have been doing it way before me, and that you can buy all the way up to colonial houses with a credit card. All right. So, you, so I bought in New York that way, and I have at least twenty five students in the past year that mm -hmm. bought in Michigan, and they use a credit card. Now, keep in mind when I say Michigan. Michigan has like 67 counties. So that's 67 mm -hmm. different, di different auctions. Uh, New York mm -hmm. has 60 or 70. So I'm not talking about one auction. You're talking about a state of New York will have, be having auctions all summer and fall long. A state of Michigan will be having auctions. That I think they do all this in, a, in like a 35 day period. Michigan, you can do everything online if you want. You could sit, I have clients sitting in Salt Lake City and they make their living in Michigan online right. buying tax property. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, I, I kind of get it. Okay, so skeptical investors, you know, myself, my audience, we are going to ask this question. What about the homes that are still in debt with the bank? How can a tax lien buyer just buy the house unless the bank writes it off? That, that kind of seems unlikely. Like, like I, I'm, I'm missing something. Explain to me. Okay. All right. So I don't have time to give you a class on law, and I'm not an attorney, so I couldn't anyway, but, but here's how it works. When... The county was formed. They gave the county rights to charge people. In other words, levy a tax, collect a tax. If they couldn't collect the tax, they could take the property. So if the right. county doesn't get paid, what they're going to do is they're going to confiscate the property and resell it. Now, when the county confiscates the property, at that point in time, the county is going to cancel and wipe out the mortgage or mm -hmm. if it has a deed of trust. So the loan is wiped out by the county. Now that's the law in every county in the United States. Now, when you raise your hand and buy a tax lien certificate, it's the same situation. When you buy the piece of paper tax lien certificate, that is the first lien on the property. It's ahead of the mortgage. Now, most right. people went to school and they yeah. heard from their broker, the first lien is the mortgage. You know, Bank of America, Wells Fargo. It's yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. It's first not. lien is the taxes. Tax. So if you own a tax lien certificate, you own the priority lien. Yeah. All right. So these properties are sold without a mortgage. Now, why did the government do that? Well, the government's a lot smarter sometimes than you think they are. They knew that the bankers wouldn't want to lose the property. But unfortunately, right. the banks get too big and they don't pay attention. And so if those properties come up for auction and the bank doesn't come in and pay the tax, you're going to make the deals of your lifetime. And I can tell you, I've never seen anybody get in a hassle with the bank. The, the, the mortgage is, or the deed of trust is wiped out at every auction. I didn't make that rule. It's the legislature of the state made that rule. How about that? Wow. I, and, I, and it's true. That's the thing. It's, it's like, I know these things, but then it's, you start to think of them and you're like, wait, but yeah, you're right. That, that's true. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you're kind of getting the idea. So we're yeah. running out of time. So what, what we better do is, let me remind you folks, we're going to do one more video after this one. And then when, when you'd like to be involved in what we're doing, we're going to do an all day, one day event. And I teach people tax lien certificates. We start at 11 o'clock Eastern. We go to five o'clock. You're just going to learn, learn, learn the, all, all the way through. Uh, I'll bring other people that are, that are my coaches and, and other guests to tell you how, how we did all this. It's $97 normally. We only charge 47 to no, Noel's clients. If you want to be involved in that, right below me is a place to register. I can assure you that 90% of the people that register for that will still be on at the end of the day, because this is a real content event, uh, adventure for all of you. So you want to think about signing up for that. And we'll be back with another video in just a minute. Yes. You'll never have to work another day in your life. The, the insecurity is gone if you just follow in this man's footsteps. Now we're going to talk about Los Angeles, California, where the starting bid is the back taxes, and they had over 3,000 properties, and that's the auction book that I mentioned earlier. Here's what happened. My name is Renee Goche from Surrey, BC. In October, I went to Los Angeles County tax deed sale, bought five properties for roughly $85,000. They are vacant lots. One is in Malibu, four in downtown LA. Gorgeous properties. Their value? Tax assessed value is just over $1 million. I did this after taking Ted's course in under 90 days. Thanks, Ted.
just imagine Los Angeles, California, a million dollars worth of properties, and he only spent $85,000. That's eight and a half cents on the dollar. Folks, this is in your best interest. Once you learn this, you can do it for the rest of your life. But you know what you're thinking? I know what you're thinking. You're saying, how would I ever sell those properties? Well, use my Walmart strategy. What is that? It's buy low and sell low. So we had a million dollars worth of properties. Let's give an 80% discount and see what we have left. Well, we still have 200,000 left and he only spent $85,000. Look at the profit he made, just one deal, one auction in Los Angeles, California. How about that? 